Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Nameless, the one thing you must recall. As always, I am joined by Coco. Say hello. Hello everyone. We're continuing on with Tay's route. <laughs> oh, Mr. Eugene. Let's go. I hate it when girls cling on to me. It's annoying. <laughs> so do you like it when boys cling on to you? Oh yeah, I'm sure he does. Bo boys and bones. <laughs> then tell me. I won't annoy you then. Or else I'm going to cling on to you like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's his main reason. <laughs> All you have to do is close the curtain, bro. <laughs> <laughs> never has to. Gosh, that reminds me of that joke I made back in the day <laughs> of Beatrice on the other side of the curtain wondering what's going on. <laughs> oh my god, I lost my shit so much. <laughs> <laughs> and the way you delivered it, too, was so perfect. I think that that's probably the... <laughs> Seb, that's the only joke I think I'm really proud of to this day. <laughs> every every other joke is like either really cringy or corny or like really lewd, but that one was really funny. <laughs> Beatrice is watching. Let's go. Tell me. <sighs> I shouldn't have mentioned it in the first place. Alright, fine. So let go. I'll tell you. I let go of the ends of his clothes. Mission accomplished. Mr. Eugene dusted off the sleeve I held on to. You and them, everyone here to annoy me today. He gave up glaring at me and started talking. Well, he never said it's a secret, so I guess I can tell you. The brunette offered me a deal. Oh? Yes. He told me he, with his perfect bones, would become a specimen for my next experiment if I keep checking on your ankle. <laughs> That's not a good thing to agree to, Tay. I said yes, since I needed a sample from a healthy male anyways, but he tricked me. Only losses for me. If I knew it was going to be this annoying, I would have said no right away. I regret it. What? Tay said himself he'd be your next sample? Did you even listen to what I just said? He tricked me. There won't be any experiment with that brunette. What do you mean, trick? And how can he trick you with his bones? You really are clueless about that boy. What? 
Mr. Eugene looked at me reproachfully. I'm glad to avoid his occurring specimen. But there must be more to the story. Yeah. Sadly, I don't think Mr. Eugene has any intention to reveal that part to me. Tessa. Never mind. I heard you fell because you were pushed. Idiot. So, did you find the person who pushed you? No. Hmm. I knew being a fool was useless. Mr. Eugene obviously thinks I'm pathetic. And then he held up his long finger and wagged it. Oh my god, is he pulling an Edgeworth? <laughs> In this life, there are only two ways of living. Being superior and inferior, or give and take. 니놈의 그 볼품 없는 다리 골격 따위 부러지든 말든 상관은 없지만 그래도 일단 공격을 당했으면 반격을 할줄 알아야지. Doesn't matter whether your hideous leg bone breaks or not. But if you've been attacked, you have to know how to counter attack. What do you mean attack? I just fell because there were too many people. 그 전학생은 그렇게 생각 안 하던데. That transfer student didn't seem to think so. So we're saying now that somebody intentionally pushed her. Hmm. Hmm. What? 드디어 쉬는 시간이 끝났나 보네. 너 얼른 가봐. 이제 나도 베아트리치와 편안한 시간을 보내야겠어. Recess must be over. Hurry and leave. I have to spend time with Beatrice now. <laughs> Reassuring her. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm not done talking. Be quiet. I have nothing more to say. Leave now. Mr. Eugene. Mr. Eugene pushed me at the door, and I was banished to the hallway just like that. I struggled and try tried to open the door again, but it never did. I felt complicated and iffy. There were still things I wanted to ask. But since the bell rang, I have to go, so I'm not late for class. I barely lifted my heavy feet and headed to the classroom. Anyways, I didn't know. Yuri, Red, and Tay worried about me that much. I imagined the three of them taking turns annoying Mr. Eugene. Is that what they call it these days? <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh at that thought. And besides... Tay even said he'd give his body. I was very surprised. Mm. So <laughs> basically, <laughs> after banging him, he said, okay, I'll let you have a turn next time. <laughs> uh, but he tricked him and he's like, ha, I'm a top. <laughs> he told me he would keep our distance at the academy. I pouted, but I couldn't help my eyes from smiling. I should definitely thank him later. Hi, Zion! Where he... here? Zion? We didn't see Zion, who always greeted us. 
I glanced around to look for him, but I didn't see him anywhere. Hmm, did something happen? We were standing still at the entrance like that when someone else walked towards us from the counter. Oh, you guys are here. I was waiting for Zion since I naturally thought he'd come, but Tay came out. So it was stiff like a stick. Her cheerful voice broke up because she was so nervous. Her cheeks turned pink in an instant, and she didn't keep her eyes away from him for a second. And this never fails to amaze me. Usually she's so wild, like a fierce hunter. But whenever she's around Tay, she always becomes this shy girl. Amazing. <laughs> Since Soy stood frozen at the spot, I had to be the one to ask about Zion. Hey Tay, but are you by yourself today? At my question, Tay looked like he just remembered something. Ah, Shion이 없어서 그러는 거야? Shion이라면 저기. Oh, are you guys standing there because Zion isn't here? He's over there. Tay pointed to a dark corner besides the counter. At that corner, Zion was crouched down with his knees gathered together. It was covered in the shadows, so we didn't notice it before. When Soy saw that, she came back to her senses and approached him. Oh my god! Zion! What are you doing there? Are you sick? Uh, oh, hello. You came. And on said hi in a weak voice. I could tell something was going on with him. Uh, what's wrong, Zion? Um, did something happen to him? Zion looked. <laughs> Zion <laughs> looked like he was witnessing the world coming to an end. What happened in the last couple of days? Soy and I looked at Tay, confused. Ah, that's what I'm Oh, that. Tay looks uncomfortable, but soon explained. And a few moments later... What? The harp's missing! You mean the one we can see right behind her? <laughs> <laughs> It's a plastic model they used that got to replace it. Oh, I see. <laughs> Makes total sense. Shh. Your voice is too oh. loud. Binks? Can you hear me? Binks? Hello? Uh-oh. Hello? Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, no, I can. Oh, okay. Oof, that was weird. Can you still <laughs> see the game? Yeah, I can see it there. Okay. Shh, your voice is too loud. Tay put his finger on his mouth and whispered. 
that, that slowly got excited again and started huffing and puffing. Oh my. <laughs> um, maybe she has a thing for. Around. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe she likes ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Then, aren't you in big trouble? How about Mr. Hoban? What did he say? Mr. Hoban's on a business trip right now. He found some excellent tea leaves and went to get them. He'll be back tomorrow. Hey, glanced at the empty corner. Zion was still crouched down, looking like he's about to cry. Oh, then it's more serious when he's not here. Didn't he say his grandfather passed it down to him? I just feel like if they're gonna include a storyline about the harp, they really should have at least edited out the harp in this picture. Yeah. <sighs> 자, 그래서 전안 감해졌어. 대체 어떻게 된 일인지 우리도 알수 없는 상황이야. 그 하프는 누가 몰래 들고 갈 만한 크기도 아닌데 말이야. Yeah, that's why we're in more trouble. And we have no idea what happened. That harp isn't something anyone can just carry and sneak out. 만약 누군가 가져간 거라면 반주의 구조와 하프에 대해 잘 알고 있는 사람이 it would have to be someone who knows Banjul and the harp really well. Then, isn't Zion the only one? Maja. Kedaga Shioni Yotu Kaji with Sokodun. Kereso Chigum Tamang Hajuan Joa. That's right. Zion even has the key. So things look really bad right now. Zion might have to take responsibility for the harp if we can't find out who took it. Tay looks troubled and frowns. Zion, who was trembling in the corner, turned pale at hearing our conversation. I felt so bad for him. But that's unfair. He must be the saddest one to have the harp stolen. How can he be responsible for that? Yeah, I think so too. But the situation is complicated, since the harp isn't cheap. As I stood up for Zion, she agreed. Interesting how I don't know if this ever happened in the other storylines, you know? I can't remember, no. Like, I'm wondering if it happened but we just weren't around, you know? Because I don't think we went to Banjul as much in the other routes. Yeah. But I didn't feel better at all. To be honest, I don't know that much about Zion and Bonzo. I don't really remember how the harp looks like, and I've never seen Zion play it. But the reason I'm so worried is because Tay works here. When Tay told me he couldn't he'd be working here, I couldn't help but worry. But when I actually saw Bon Zula and people working here, I stopped worrying. I felt happy to know that Tay was working at such a good place with good people. So, Bon Zula became important to me too. But... Something bad has happened, you know? So I looked worried. Ah, 
오실 때 다른 악플을 빌려서 살짝 바꿔놓는다는 게 Isn't there any way? Maybe we can borrow a harp before Mr. Holden comes and switch for a while. Harp라는 게 그렇게 쉽게 구할 수 있는 물건이 아니잖아. 게다가 여기에 있던 하프는 앤티크 하프 가서 똑같은 모델을 구할 수 있다는 보장도 없어. The harp's not that easy to find. Besides, that harp is antique, so it'll be difficult to find the same model. 내일까지 구한다는 건 더더욱 불가능한 소리. And to find it until tomorrow would be impossible. Every time Tate crossed out possible options, we grew more and more disheartened. Soy clutched her head. Huh, this is such a disaster. I can't just stay here. Wait a moment. I'll go see if there's anyone who knows how to get a harp. Zoe looked up poor Zion one more time and left the cafe with her phone. I whispered to Tay after Soy left. Will Zion be okay? I don't know. Oh. Well, that seems pretty obvious we'd be sympathetic. Yeah. He cherished that harp so much. He must be so sad right now. I hope we find it soon. I remember how Zion smiled like the happiest person on earth when he talked about the harp. He said he wanted to start. He said he started working here because of it. As I felt bad for Zion, Tay stared at me. Um, you seem to be sure that Zion didn't take it. Of course, he didn't ever have stolen it. How can you be so sure? Look at his face. That face he's making right now. That face. Tay looked confused. Yeah, that face. I've seen it before. When? At Grandpa's funeral. Tay looked like he wanted to hear more. But that was how I looked when I saw myself in a mirror. I said it, but it still made me sad. Tay was lost for words for a moment. Yes, that day I looked like Zion. He looked flustered, devastated, and lost. As if he had lost something he thought would be by his side forever. Aww. I've been there before, so I can't possibly su suspect Zion. I really feel like Mr. Holbin himself must have taken the harp for repairs or something. Oh god, it would be something like that, wouldn't it? Yeah, but he should have at least told them. Yeah. Of course the situation's a bit different, but I think he's that devastated. He looks so sad. He would never have taken it. 그래, 그렇구나. Okay, I get it. Tay listened silently to what I said and nodded. He even gave me a small smile. 
Yeah, I hope we find it soon. I kept worrying about Zion. I tried to think about what I could do, but nothing came to mind. I think it's not because you went through something similar that you don't suspect Zion. What? Tay gave me a kind smile. I think it's because you have a good, innocent heart, and you can trust people. Oh. My face turned red at the sudden compliment. I did feel embarrassed, but Zion still bothered me. But regardless, Tay continued on. Jackie, you're a good person. Stay that way. I know there are people who can cheer up to see you like that. He was so serious, I ended up nodding. But even though Tay smiled pleasingly, I couldn't understand why he was suddenly saying that to me. I just kept worrying about Zion and the harp. And I was startled at the sound of the door opening and hurriedly backed away from Tay. Sure enough, it was Soy who came in. I could see from her frowning face that things didn't go so well. Now, of course, there's no one around with a harp. We all sighed at what she said. Well, I guess we won't be finding it right away. All right. But we'll be leaving this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. And until next time, have a nice day. Toodaloo!